Hey guys, um, I'm going to starting a new project and it's kind of a new old project. I'm going to replace this old excavator here. This is my uh, brooder conversion that I did uh, about almost two years ago and I'm going to replace it and uh, rebuild it. So I'm just going to give you just a walkthrough of what I want to do. The first thing we got to do is we have to get all of that into that one. And it's not as hard as you, as you may think. Most of this mess here that you see is mostly just wires. The actual uh, parts, if you want to say it, are really not, not that hard to put in there. And there's more room than you think in this little excavator. Like, for example, there's the tank, um, there's the valves. I want to do some, some stuff different, like there's the pump. Uh, I want to get rid of this little servo that's here that controls the turntable and put an actual uh, like gear and a gear motor to turn the house. That way it frees up some space and I don't have to hack the poor body apart like that. So that's one of the first things. The other thing is, um, I don't want to do the thing that I did here and try to make it look like it's old and beat up. It, I, I want it nice and shiny, it, you know. <laughs> the old beat up stuff is kind of cool, but after a while you just want them, you know, you want everything to look good. The other thing I want to do is some structural stuff. Let me move that guy out the way. And sorry about the desk. I've been just building and just uh, throwing stuff around. <laughs> but I want to do some structural stuff. Like, you could tell there that inside the brooder arm, there's not a lot of structure in there. It's just, you know, it's, it's flexible. So I want to try to build that up. And mind you, this is just a toy. This is not like a, you know, a full RC excavator. This is really just a toy that I converted. Um, the other thing I want to do is just uh, do a better job on the turntable, I mean not a turntable, on the track frames and just make it, just to make it an all around better model. So that's the, the first, that's the major plans. The other thing, like the real one, I want to try to run these hoses into the, the boom and only come out where they need to actually come out. Sorry about that, I had to pause it for a minute. But anyway, I, yeah, I want to take these hoses and clean them up and do a better job. There's going to be a lot of 3D printed stuff, like right here you can see these little H-beam is 3D printed. I'm going to try that again. Um, I got the 3D printer warming up, as you can tell, because I'm going to print a piece for the turntable. And I don't really care about the color of the filament, you know, this it's more structural stuff that's going to be printed inside of uh, stuff that's going to look good or be on the surface but yeah that's the that's the, the project next big build and like I said this is the guinea pig it's fresh out of the box um, I did take the track frames off so I can get to them First thing we're going to print for this is a little plate that's in here. So, let's see if I can get this in a place a uh, way that you can see it. Sorry about the shaky camera. I'm doing this on my tablet and it's a little bit harder to hold than the phone. But yeah, I want to put a some kind of little plate in here so I can put the uh, slew ring or the wire ring, whatever you want to call it, in there. Uh, the next thing after that is to work on the gear motors and make sure that there this will drive and then we'll work on the actual house part and take that apart but yeah it should be a good little project next time you see the, the uh, track frames they're going to have the gear motors and 
the uh, slew ring in it. It may be even the drive gear, but that I got to kind of figure out a little bit. So stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching.